Ukraine has started commemorations to mark the 30th anniversary of the nuclear disaster in Chernobyl. At the time of the nuclear explosion, 50,000 people were evacuated. A large area is still off limits because of radiation levels being too high. It's not meant to be safe for another 24,000 years. Well, let's get more on the story. Stephen Tindell is the climate and energy consultant. He joins us live from Birmingham in the UK. Stephen, many thanks for joining us today. Thank you. 30 years on, there's still reports of communities in the surrounding areas, surrounding countries like Ukraine and Russia, Belarus, with high rates of cancer, birth defects, other health complications. Tell me, what is the current radioactive state status in Chernobyl and the surrounding area? The situation in the surrounding areas is still not safe, and that is why people are being allowed to go back live there. Chernobyl was a disaster. It's important to point out that this does not mean all nuclear power is safe. Nuclear is in fact the safest way to generate electricity. It causes far fewer deaths than coal or large dams which can burst and drown. That's not to just Chernobyl. What happened at Chernobyl was a lack of population. The Soviet Union was in the process of disintegrating, so the nuclear power station and the people working there were unregulated and allowed to do exactly what they wanted to do. And that is what caused this disaster, which means that nuclear power is a necessary part of the energy mix, but must be very firmly regulated. Uh, Stephen, the connection to you is not uh, particularly good, but I'm going to try another question. Um, I believe that they're building uh, a, a huge uh, steel arch over that stricken reactor site, uh, which it seems incredible that they're still working on something like this. Should this not have been built sooner? It should have been built sooner, and everything that is possible must be done at Chernobyl to try and limit the impact of the radiation. As I say, nothing can justify what happened at Chernobyl. It was the result of the disintegration of the Soviet Union and the failure to regulate nuclear power. What I believe firmly is that it must not be allowed to stop any progress with nuclear power. There are ways of generating electricity and producing heat from nuclear, which are much, much safer than the design that was used at Chernobyl. So the Chernobyl disaster cannot be or should not be used as a reason to reject the whole of nuclear power. Well, I wonder if lessons really have been learned, because I know Ukraine hasn't rejected nuclear power. It still currently supplies over half, half of the country's electricity. Uh, but between 2010 and 2015, three different units were forced to shut down due to accidents. Surely, well, I mean, what does that tell us? What it tells us is two things. Firstly, that uh, old existing nuclear power stations are not as good as they could be and should be in future. But secondly, and more positively, it tells us that they are being better regulated now. And so if they are not sufficiently safe, they are forced to close down. OK, Stephen, uh, many thanks for your time. Uh, Stephen Tyndale, uh, climate and energy consultant, joining us there live from Birmingham in the UK. Many thanks.